The Milwaukee Brewers are doing what no one expected them to do after losing Craig Council and Corbin Burns in the offseason, but they have their best chance to win their first World Series. Brewers. Milwaukee Brewers. Yeah. You asked for it and we delivered. It's Fan Friday and you, the fans, chose today's topic, Point of View. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know which MLB team you think has the best chance to win their first World Series. The Padres are absolutely surging and the Mariners are right in the playoff mix. But I think the Bruku has the best chance to get past their postseason demons and finally win a World Series. The odds are always stacked against them with their payroll and small market. But this season had more obstacles than most thought they'd be able to overcome. However, they've created a culture that can get through anything the past seven years. And they've only missed the postseason once in that span. But still, they've only won one playoff series in this stretch, and that was in 2018 when they took the Los Angeles Dodgers to seven games in the NLCS. This year was supposed to be the beginning of the downfall. Their ace starting pitcher Corbin Burns was traded to the Baltimore Orioles for some unproven prospects, and manager Craig Council betrayed the people of Milwaukee by heading to the rival Chicago Cubs. Then you throw in the injury to second starter Brandon Woodruff, who's out for the entire season, and a litany of first and second year players in the lineup, logic would tell you they weren't going to be the team they have been for over half a decade. But those who've been following the team closely know that they are more than just their stars, and this season is the perfect encapsulation of that. But before we get more into that, here are the results of this week's poll question. Thanks to everyone who voted, and look out for another question next Monday. But back to it. Even with a myriad of injuries to key players like Wade Miley, D.L. Hall, Robert Gasser, Christian Yelich, Devin Williams, I mean I could go on and on. They are still proving they are among the best teams in the league and are in the running for the top seed in the National League come October. And like most years lately, it starts with the pitching staff. They currently sit in the top five in ERA and have had a ton of players step up in a bigger role. 34-year-old Colin Ray is having the best season of his career with a sub-4 ERA. Rookie Tobias Myers has come in hot and has a 1-2-1 ERA with 28 strikeouts in 5 starts before yesterday's game. And Brian Hudson has an ERA under 2 with over 50 strikeouts in just over 50 innings. Veteran first baseman Reese Hoskins has taken notice of the Brewers pitching lab in his first season in Milwaukee. Here's what he had to say when asked about how the vibes of this team compared to some of the great Phillies teams he's been on. One of the biggest things is just the confidence I think we have as a group that um, we're in games. You know, there's not that many games this year where um, just kind of been a laugher for us. So you can grab some confidence from that, even when things aren't going well in the first half of the game. But with our bullpen and our staff, um, we can find a way to scratch a couple runs off in an inning and be right back in a game or, or take over a game. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of confidence in that. You mentioned the confidence that a pitching staff like they have can give you in a long season, and while the pitching and defense have been good in Milwaukee for a long time, it hasn't been taken advantage of with the bats as well as it has this season. They are top 10 in the league in RBIs, walks, stolen bases, and runs scored. And among the 10 players who have played at least 70 games for the team, 7 of them have a batting average above 250, and another 7 have an OPS above 700. And that's with having rookie Jackson Cheerio and second-year players Bryce Terang, Sal Freelich, and Joey Ortiz as near-everyday bats in the lineup. All of that adds up to one of the most successful franchises over the past few years, but postseason success has still largely eluded this team, and it's time to get past that hurdle. They put themselves in position to hopefully coast to an NL Central title and focus their efforts on catching the Dodgers and Phillies at the top of the National League. And even though Christian Yelich will not be returning this season, there's still no reason to believe this team led by Willie Adamas and William Contreras can't find themselves playing for a championship in a couple of months. The other professional team in Milwaukee will be shooting for the same goals next season. For more on how the Bucks can bounce back, check out this past episode of Point of View. Enjoy the weekend, and we hope to find you here again next week.